channel today I am going to talk about my IUD experience and I'm sorry if you can hear Phoenix's music it is quite loud um, but this is really the only time I have to do it and I was just filming a video and decided I was gonna do it here so like I said in the last video sorry about the background noise um, anyway I just wanted to come on here and talk about my IUD experience I got my IUD put in Morena IUD put in about I want to say I want to say a month ago but I think it was about three weeks ago and so I watched a ton of videos and a ton of people's you know things on this before I went and did a ton of research and you know all that good stuff and everybody so not everybody some people said it was you know a bit uncomfortable um, a little painful a bit uncomfortable and everything well let me just tell you it hurt and I'm just gonna be honest it really hurt but this is why they say I so I got it when Avery was four months old yeah so it's been about a month um, when she was four months old so I had had her four months previously but I did not have a vaginal birth I had a c-section so technically my private area had never given birth right because I had never dilated and a baby had never passed through my canal so technically it was like someone who hasn't had kids getting an IUD put in um, my doctor also said that my cervix was very tiny. She was like, whoa, your cervix is so little. And then she's like, you had C-sections, right? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, okay, that's why. So I think for somebody who has had a baby vaginally, it the pain would not be as bad. They also recommend you go when you have your period, which I did go when I had my period, um, which is mm, a little weird. But it says that when you have your period, your, your um, uterus tends to dilate a bit. So that helps. It was painful so I they tell you to take time well before you go which you definitely should I forgot I had it on the counter and it ran out the door and I did not take it um, they put like a clamp there's tons of videos that show you exactly what they do um, but they put like this the clamp kind of to open it and all that and insert it and that part was the part that hurt like not the part where they inserted it the clamping like for them to open it and then the pressure you feel when it's being put in was pretty painful and I'm not gonna lie like it wasn't excruciating but it was more than just uncomfortable for me and like I said if you've had a baby before vaginally then it might you might not feel the same pain because your uterus has opened it has dilated and you know it's, it's I would recommend that you go if you had a baby vaginally that you go very close to when the baby was born because they say you you know everything is not back to normal totally as soon as you're cleared to get it i would feel you should get it because i think that that would lessen the pain um the pain lasted i would say about a day when i left there i had very bad back pain like my lower back was really hurting and um i just felt really tense and just crampy and um i was on my period but it was kind of the end of it so um i bled for like another week and but it was a different kind of blood if that makes any sense if you're a girl then you kind of know what I mean and it's kind of it was kind of like the ending of your period and um, where it's more brownish and not red sorry for the TMI but this is an IUD video so what did you think you were gonna get um, so yeah I just kind of wanted to share my experience um, so for like about a week I was kind of bleeding spotting and then it was fine the pain was very minimal I took Tylenol for about just one day I think I took it like twice and that was it um, I didn't need to take it anymore I still have not gotten my period since I put it in like it hasn't been time for it it's coming up so I don't know how that would be if it's gonna make my period stronger make my parents my periods lighter um, make them go away because there's a lot of different things that I can do it has I haven't noticed a big difference in my milk supply I have noticed a little one but I don't know if it has anything to do with the IUD they say that it doesn't and it doesn't affect your milk supply but I feel like my milk supply has changed a bit nothing too drastic that like you know now Avery can't I don't have enough milk for her nothing like that but let's say somebody who had a little milk supply it maybe can like diminish it that's a um but I don't know if that could just be coincidental timing and maybe there's something else that's affecting my milk supply. But I did notice a little increase in it. Um, 
lately so and that's the only thing that I've really changed so I don't know um what else <laughs> so uh, now a month later about a month later I um randomly when I wipe I will see a little bit of blood nothing crazy um nothing shocking or anything like that nothing that it comes down by itself and stains my underwear but when I do um occasionally I have to, throughout the month I have seen still spotting which they say is normal um cramping like I said went away um sex is normal um it didn't affect it at all my husband said he couldn't feel the string um but I could feel the string like if I put sorry for the DMI if I put my hand in there um I could feel the string which they recommend that you do because then periodically you can check and make sure it's kind of still in the same place um I did go in for an ultrasound for them to check to make sure it was right where it needed to be and I did that a week later they recommend that you don't have sex or don't do anything until you check and make sure it was placed where it needs to be placed and it was and then like I said sex was not affected my husband didn't feel it and nothing really changed from that as of yet and this is just a month in so I think I'm gonna do these videos about um, maybe just in like six months and a year if anything's changed if nothing I have nothing to update then I won't but if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns or anything that maybe I didn't cover or I'm not thinking about then just leave it down below and I will answer your questions if there's a lot maybe I'll make another video on it but overall I'm very happy with the IUD it's crazy to not have to think of a pill and um, it's still in the back of my mind like oh what oh my god I can get pregnant but I mean the chances are limited <laughs> and I like the fact of not thinking about um, a pill and not thinking about anything and I have this in for five years and then I have to go remove it and decide or if I remove it if I want to if we want to have a baby then we can remove it like I can remove it next year and try right away to have a baby I think they say you should wait one cycle just so that you know your cycle is back to normal um, but technically once it's removed you can have a baby there's not no hormones or no anything there um, so I like that too because it's just you know when I want to I can just remove it not me you should go to the doctor to remove it but you can just go to the doctor remove it and that's it so so yes that is my IUD experience like I said if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time Bye.